The trial balance needs to be adjusted before we can compute the income statement and the balance sheet. We reached the trial balance and we marked off revenue accounts and capital accounts. The C's correspond to capital accounts and the R's to revenue accounts. They are the sales and the other charges. Altogether, as we said, they will form the income statement. Let's see what would we get if we try to prepare right away the income statement. From the trial balance, we will extract the sales and the various charges account. Sales of 7,000, purchases of 6,400, and the other charges, rent, shop expenses, and salaries. So we would see the sales of 7,000, which correspond to 70 items sold at 100 euros a piece, and charges altogether adding up to 11,600 euros. Therefore, we would observe a loss of 4,600 euros. But this is wrong on several counts. First of all, the purchases of 6,400 euros they correspond to all the items we purchased, 160 items, but we sold only 70. So the real cost of goods sold is 70 multiplied by the purchasing price for us, 40 euros, of these items. So the purchases is not really the cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold, which should appear in the income statement, is 2,800. And secondly, we are missing some other charges which do not appear in the trial balance. Other charges. So for these various reasons, this net profit or loss is not correct. Let's first of all look in more detail at this cost of goods sold. While we kept the journal, we also monitor the inventory. We purchase first of all 100 items. Uh, at 40 euros a piece, that's 4,000. Then we sold 30, so we had an inventory of 70. Then we purchased another 60 for 2,400, and then we sold again 30 and then 10. Altogether, we sold 70 uh, items, and these were sales of 7,000. But as far as cost of these things for us, are concerned, this cost us 2,800, and we were left with 90 items that were not sold, and that cost to us 3,600, and this will end up in the inventories. Secondly, there are consumptions which do not appear in the so-called raw trial balance, if we may say. Consider the van. We acquired it for 3,000 euros, but this van will wear out over the years. Suppose it wears out in five years. Then in truth, each year we consume also 600 euros of the value of the van. So a more correct income statement will take into account the actual cost of goods sold, which we just saw, and not all the purchases, so 2,800 and not all the purchases, and it will count the loss of value of the van during the year, 600. So the uh, better calculation of the profit or loss is a loss of 1,600. And there will, be, there will be more adjustments. We will amortize the machinery as well. Maybe we, we shall have to pass provision for doubtful clients. We shall see what it means. We may actually also have to remove some prepayments that do not concern the uh, accounting cycle. And conversely, we may have to take into account uh, some charges or some consumption for which we have not yet received an invoice and therefore which do not appear in the trial balance. All this will be studied in the forthcoming lessons. In this lesson, we explain the ideas of the adjustments. In the next lessons, we shall study the actual mechanics or technique with double entry accounting of these adjustments. So we are not finished yet, but we are progressing.